here again. Coming at you again here. It's a bit of a patchy day weather-wise here in Christchurch. I'm not sure what the temperature is. It's probably only around the, it's very pleasant actually, probably around the high teens uh, in Celsius. Sun's coming and going. I'm um, just enjoying the last or the early start of our autumn here. It's uh, Monday, Easter Monday. I hope you all had a good Easter. And coming today with a review. And this week it's Clallan's Three Oaks Syrian, the Collector Series. Just read you the tin note while I've got you here. It is Three Oaks Syrian Pipe Tobacco Blend. Rare Syrian Latakia, with its renowned mellow smokiness, is balanced with naturally sweet oriental tobaccos and aged Virginia leaf to create a satisfying blend reminiscent of classic Syrian Latakia blends of old. Formulated by Tad Gage, Big shout out to Mr. Gage <laughs> to reflect the character of original Three Oaks pipe tobacco. It tantalizes with intriguing difference. And it's um, manufactured, of course, by McClellan uh, in Kansas City, Missouri, USA. Um, my review here is purely on this blend. I haven't smoked the original. I wish I could say that I had, but at this stage in my life, it's a big no. So, this is what we're smoking today. Let's see if I can read. Um, so this is, this is actually a Balkan, it's a ribbon cut, and the, the um, tobaccos it consists of are Latakia, Oriental Turkish, and Virginia. Well, I can tell you that that is rich, smoky, and I'm picking up hints of uh, apricot and apple. Very nice. Today I'm going to be smoking it in my lovely Rick Black Fat Dublin. I've seen this one a couple of times. Very nice. A little bling on there. Lovely uh, colour in the stem. Lovely to hold. Um, becoming a firm favourite, this one. And without further ado, I'm going to flare this up and get into it. Of note, um, of late there's been a bit of topic on the on stuff and things. Uh, Bradley, I'm not sure if you uh, watched this or not, but um, talking about Zippo lighters as opposed to matches and big lighters, whatever, you know, and I really I cannot get into all that. I, know, I just cannot abide all that pipe snobbery, and it existed in the cigar world. I know when I was getting to that, and they say you can't light it with this, and so on and so on. Really couldn't care less. If it lights the goddamn thing up, does its job, that's all that really matters, surely, at the end of the day. Anyway, my two cents. I'm just of note also, I've tried a different technique in packing my pipe here today, so it's a lot looser than it normally is, but we'll see how we go. It's going to be interesting. Well, that false light, or charring light, um, the sugar leaf makes itself known. I've got flavours of like a, a, a butter toffee, uh, with just a slight tang of smokiness. That was quite pleasant and a bit of a surprise. Still needs a bit more, right? This pipe here, I don't know what are they? Eight deco, smokingpipes.com, very cheap, but loving the the holes on the end. You can sort of tamp and smoke through it, you know, like you would cover it with your fingers. This thing's brilliant, and it's still got ear holes. Mm. 
like so. Very nice. Today I'm just uh, drinking a nice water straight out of the tap. We're lucky here in Christchurch. We have um, artesian wells underneath us here that just purify this water. Probably some of the best, cleanest water in the world. Not one to brag, but beautiful. This um, the full complexity of this blend is coming out. It's got this uh, sweetness center stage. It's backed up by the Oriental. And that latter key is just um, melds beautifully into the background. Very nice. I'm going to smoke this down a wee bit, in fact probably smoke it all the way down, and I'm going to come back and finish this review off. Well, here I am back again. Um, smoke this down now, get down to the last third of the bowl. And enjoy it. The noise you can hear, of course, is my dog Herb, who never seems to let me alone when I come out here just to enjoy a smoke. It's always got to be playing the ball. Anyway, uh, tell you about this. This, um, so this I gave it through the first uh, quarter of the bowl. There's a lot of complexity in that blend. It was very nice. And um, as I got into the mid bowl, the flavour becomes more robust with its smoky leather keys, um, which was welcomed for me. And then as I got into this, getting into this last third, um, it changed again, and, and the blend goes through like this other shift, and there's this lovely salty sweetness coming out, and, and, and while the latter keys and Oriental seem to combine into a flavour, you know, not unlike um, green tea leaves, very nice. So I'm not sure what, what the um, original was like, but this I, I really like this beautiful, sweet all day smoke. If one was so inclined to smoke all day. Um, it lights easily, requires minimal maintenance, and it will take be low on the nicotine count. Um, the strength of this is mild to medium. The taste, I would say, is medium. And the room note will be pleasant. Um, that being said, I'd give this a four out of five. Very nice. Um, just a wee note. Um, you might notice I'm not smoking this with a softy on. Um, I went through the whole stage where all my pipes had softy bits on the end. I've now gone full circle where. The only time I'm going to use them is if I'm driving in the car or working on something and I'm clenching. Other than that, I've come to the decision, and this is just a personal preference, that it's a bit insulting to the pipe maker to go and stick on a big clumpy, big bloody bit of rubber on there. You see this lovely finesse that they put into it, and then you go stick on this big bloody condom on the end of it. Just uh, change my thoughts on that. I just want to sit and enjoy a pipe. And they just feel so much better in the mouth more refined or something like that. Take from that what you will, but that's my take on it all. Oh, it's very nice. Look at that, it just passes a pipe cleaner so easily this. Beautiful. Well, anyway, YouTube, I've kept you long enough and wasted enough of your time. I hope you all had a great uh, Easter weekend, and uh, be good to one another. Until next time, we share a bowl and uh, do another pipe review, which will be this time next week. Hang loose.
A kiss is not a contract, but it's very nice.、Mm, it's very nice. Just because you've been exploring my mouth doesn't mean you get to take an expedition for the south. No, a kiss is not a contract, but it's very nice.